an ancestor of mine was on a plantation that General Sherman came and just burnt to the ground. Exactly. That's history right there. It sure is. Absolutely. It says her parents were Wilson Griswold and Matilda Griswold. But who were they? Because the slaves weren't freed until after the Civil War ended in 1865, the first possible census that Lucinda's parents, Wilson and Matilda, could have been listed in is 1870. So Spike's starting his search there. So gonna try to find Griswold here. There's a Matilda Griswold. She's a cook. She's living with someone named Ebenezer Greer, 48, and he's a retired lawyer. He has a wife named Eliza, who's 41. It's listed here, Matilda is a mulatto. Hmm. In Griswoldville, Griswoldville, Matilda Griswold. Given that both Lucinda's parents were called Griswold and her mother lived in Griswoldville, it's likely that Griswold was the name of the man who owned them. We don't see Wilson Griswold on the census, who is Lucinda's father. So where is Griswoldville, Georgia, and what happened to Wilson Griswold? I'm meeting Dinah Berry, historian of the 19th century South in Macon, Georgia. So let's, let's look at Griswold, OK? So this is the uh, 1850 slave census schedule. And we have here Samuel Griswold. Then as we look to see how many slaves he has, these are all Griswold slaves. He owned a lot of slaves. Very, yep. So large slaveholder, large slaveholder. But that makes sense because it's, it's Griswoldville. <laughs> if he has a town named after him, right? Right. Or he named the town himself. Yeah, yeah. So that brings us to where's Wilson, right? Where's Wilson? Come across this document. This is actually a contract for slaves to work in a business. They work the cotton gin business. The owner is Griswold, right. and he's naming his slaves to be hired out. George, Jerry, Henry, Little Jackson, Matthew, and Wilson. There he is. Wilson. And the thing I think was most interesting about this is that when you have slaves that are named, they're obviously valued slaves. So these are probably skilled um, mill workers, right. uh, mechanics. They go into the gin shop, and that's when they did the work. And that's probably where Wilson was, which means Griswold owned skilled slaves. Right. And I also came across this document. On or about the 21st day, November last, the Federal Army under General W.T. Sherman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> came the residence of, of said Sam Grist when destroyed by burning his grist and sawmills. Foundry, gin shop, said enemy also took and carried away five Negro men. All right, that might be him. Mm -hmm. As the Union Army commander, General Sherman conducted a strategy of total war and scorched earth in Georgia. It destroyed industries that supported the Confederacy, including the cotton gin factory in Griswoldville where Wilson built and maintained cotton engines. This was just one stop on Sherman's march from Atlanta to Savannah. This document also indicates that these slaves were taken, you know, with them. Not all of them, though. Right, but these five individuals. Yeah, were, but what about, what about the but there's, rest? there's hundreds of slaves on exactly. this plantation. Were there any Negroes in Sherman's army? There is evidence of, of slaves that worked for the Union. A lot of them did. A lot of them joined and went because they looked at them as a great liberator. Right. So, Wilson might have left with General Sherman. It's possible. Either taken, taken or killed. 
killed. We don't know that. I mean, they never returned. They never saw them again. This is 1865. Right. So right before the war ended, this is in February. War ends in April. An ancestor of mine was on a plantation that General Sherman came just burnt to the ground. Exactly. That's history right there. It sure is. Absolutely. Spike Lee is on a mission to discover his mother's family's slave roots. He's already found Mars and Lucinda, his great-great-grandparents. Now he's on the trail of Lucinda's father, Wilson Griswold. Wilson might have left with General Sherman. Either taken, taken or killed. He wants to find out what happened to Wilson and the Griswold plantation. There's nothing left of Griswoldville now. There's just a street sign, train tracks, and a plaque commemorating the spot where the cotton gin factory once stood. The factory and the town were destroyed during the Civil War. The Confederate Pistol Factory. In 1862, to meet the pressing need of the Confederate States Army for revolvers of the coat pattern, the Griswold Cotton Gin Company's plant on this site was converted to a pistol factory. This history is crazy. This is crazy. Not only were they slave owners, they were supplying Colt pistols for the Confederacy. And Wilson, my great, great, great grandfather, worked there. In Sherman's march towards the sea, they burnt down this factory. And uh, that's really the last time Wilson, we know what happened to him. We don't know if he died there or he left with the Union. But he had to know what these pistols were being used for. We'll never know how he felt about it. Was he conflicted? Did he have misgivings or was he just doing what Mazza told him to do. Griswold historian Bill Bragg is joining Spike to shed some light on Wilson's experience at the cotton gin factory. Hi. How you doing? Bill Bragg. Spike Lee. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Pretty good. So you got some information? Uh, a little bit. Let's see what we have here. This was built right here. Is that authentic? This is authentic. And there's a good chance that my great, great, great grandfather, Wilson Griswold, built this. Oh, yes. He, he would have to have been involved in part of the process. Right. No other pistol manufacturer in the Confederacy made more than this one did. This, this factory here made more than any of the others. My great, great, great grandfather built this Confederate <laughs> pistol, exactly. which was used to kill. <laughs> The people who were coming to liberate him. <laughs> yep. Uh, the irony. <laughs> yeah. Very heavy irony. It was definitely a shocker knowing that my great 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 grandfather made pistols for the Confederacy. So no pictures of the. No pictures of the factory. What about Mazza Griswold? <laughs> there is a picture of him. That's probably around 1860. He had a stroke by that time. And uh, he doesn't look real happy. Mm -mm -mm. As my grandma would say. <laughs> That's the only known picture of him? That's the only known picture. What about, what was his wife's name? Uh, Louisa. Louisa, you got a picture of her? There is a picture of her. Neither one of them look real happy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Now, let me ask you a question. Wilson Griswold married a woman named Matilda. And the census, she's listed as mulatto. Is there a chance he was her father? Oh, yes, there's a chance. At the very beginning of this journey, I wanted to know who owned my ancestors. 
Now we know. It's also a good chance that I might be related to this person. Crazy.